Let's start with Russia. Sure. Um, can you share any further details on the meeting? Uh, what's on the agenda? What does President Biden hope to get out of the meeting? And the um, choosing of Geneva, obviously Geneva is an historic place. Um, so what's that part of the decision making process in deciding to hold it in Geneva? Sure. Uh, well, let me start with, of course, you've seen uh, the statement we put out this morning confirming that uh, President Biden will be meeting with President Putin in Geneva, as you said, on June 16th. Uh, the leaders will discuss the full range of pressing issues as we seek to restore predictability and stability to the U.S.-Russia relationship. And to more specific to your question, uh, we expect they will spend a fair amount of time on strategic stability, where the arms control agenda goes following the extension of New START. Obviously, we're both members of the P5 plus one as well as those negotiations are ongoing. The President will also raise Ukraine, underscoring America's support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. And he will also uh, plan to raise Belarus and convey our grave concerns uh, as he d has now done publicly, privately, as he has, done, has now done pr publicly. Uh, it also is three weeks away, so there could be a range of issues that could be discussed uh, during the forum, uh, during the meeting, and we will, of course, provide a preview as we get closer. To criticism from some Republicans that the administration is essentially rewarding Putin for bad behavior, considering you know his sort of soft response to our situ situation, his treatment of Navalny, various other issues he's he's had recently. Well, we may have forgotten over the last couple of years, but this is how diplomacy works. We don't work together. Uh, we don't meet with people only when we agree. It's actually important to meet with leaders when we have a range of disagreements, as we do with Russian leaders. So we don't regard the meeting with the Russian president as a reward. We regard it as a vital part of defending America's interests. Uh, and President Biden is meeting with Vladimir Putin because of our country's differences, not in spite of them. It's an opportunity to raise concerns where we have them, and again, to move toward a more stable and predictable relationship with the Russian government.